I think that, that would have been the thing to do rather than when I found out he had a brain tumor. That's when I wanted to run over to the house with a hot dish. I should have wanted to run over there with a hot dish when he was treating me like crap, which would have been the more Judeo Buddhist Christian thing to do. Um, so I wrote him this song, and uh, I don't know if he's heard it or not. I don't care. Um, some one of the people said, Why do you let a situation like that get under your skin? Why do you let that happen? That's what most. When bad things happen to people like that, I get albums out of it. <laughs> so, um, here's a song. This is a song. Uh, I wrote this song to his son, a little boy, uh, uh, um, that, uh, you know, we were doing battle after this big land thing that was going on and everything else. We were peeking out our windows to see who was guarding when, so we wouldn't have to touch base with each other. But one of the things that would happen, he'd take his kid Noah, who was about 18 months old at the time, and set him outside. He was like a wind-up toy. He would just take off. And next thing you know, I end up with this kid in my arms. Now I'm doing a mortal battle with this guy, and I called the police on and I've got his kid. And so I did the most conscionable thing. I put the kid back down well in the back up and sent him on back home. <laughs> and he, you know, careened off of stuff and going back into his house. So I wrote this song, uh, song to, to the kid, and uh, thank you for, for listening. <clears throat> and it goes like this. <laughs> the Brinkman son wanders through my gate, face and hands covered with what he last say.
And there ain't gonna be no winner when this war is won. But these dogs that put a hurting on a stranger come. The devil land on the bright man's sun. Oh. Thank you very much for hanging out.